When building a rifle for dangerous game, I always like to include express sights on the barrel. Let me show you how we put those on. I prefer a quick detachable scope because there are times, especially in thick bush or in poor light, when open sights work best. An island style rear base like this one from New England Custom Guns matched with a banded front ramp from the same company is a good place to start. Once the front sight ramp is attached, the sight bead can be selected from a variety of inserts, after which the rear sight notch can be filed in. Both the rear and the front sight bases are available for different barrel contours, but installation requires the final contour to be shaped by the gunsmith. The leading edge of the rear base should be located about four and a quarter inches from the front of the recoil lug. The best way I have found to match the contours is to place a strip of abrasive paper on the barrel so the dimensions of the wrapped barrel is the same as the bare metal where the rear sight will be located. Carefully sliding the base back and forth with moderate pressure will open up the radius to match the barrel contour perfectly. Now I clean the underside of the sight to remove all the remaining bluing. A bit of flux is added to the underside of the sight, after which I can heat it up using a propane torch and melt a small layer of solder onto the surface. This process is called tinning. One wipe with some steel wool finishes the job. With the barreled action leveled in a vise, I can add a bit of flux to the barrel along with the sight. Now I can level the sight on the barrel and use a spring clamp to hold it in place. A bit of cold blue added to the barrel around the sight will keep any extra solder that may run out from sticking. The barrel and the sight are heated until the solder flows, securing the sight to the barrel. I then check the sight to be sure it hasn't shifted and is still level. Yes. After we're satisfied with this location, the rear sight base will serve as a drilling guide for the fastening screw. I'm using a number 29 drill bit and a stop to prevent drilling into the bore. I tap the hole, remembering to back it off regularly to prevent breaking the tap. All that's left is to tighten the fastening screw. That looks pretty good. Now we can install the banded front sight ramp. First, I'll disassemble the sight ramp assembly the sight is a bit undersized to begin with. The barrel diameter on our rifle measures about 662, while the inside diameter of our banded sight measures about 647 thousandths. Because there isn't much taper in two inches of barrel, a standard chucking reamer will work fine for opening up the band. We're using a three jaw chuck and some brass shim stock to hold the sight. I'll slide the sight on the barrel so it's about a quarter inch from the muzzle to check it for fit. After removing the sight and cleaning the contact surfaces with cloth-backed abrasive, I can tend them, paying special attention to the underside of the ramp and the inside of the band. After checking the sight for proper fit, I clean the barrel surface and flux it along with the sight. Then I place the ramp back on the barrel, check it for level, and outline the sight in cold blue. Now I heat the barrel and sight until the solder flows. All that's left is to tap in the front sight. That looks nearly perfect. 